My name is Lawrence Baker. I grew up in Portales, New Mexico in Dumas, Texas. I work as the communications director for the New Mexico Restaurant Association based in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Well, it is, it is all of both of those words. I do all of the communications and I'm directing a lot more than that as well. Um, it's, my position started as they needed someone to really take over and bring the association into modern times with social media, a new website, you know, more electronic connections, that type of stuff. And since then I've really grown into a new role where I'm, I'm taking the association in a new direction and we're doing more video. Um, I've learned video production and, and video effects and stuff of that nature, motion graphics. And uh, we actually put out a couple of pretty good video campaigns earlier this year that garnered a lot of attention. So it, it really, it's everything from the ground up. It's from making sure that the emails we send out to our members have all the information that they need to get in to trying to innovate new ways to bring communications to the restaurant industry across the state. Um, my first job was at a restaurant in Dumas, Texas. It was a Brahms. Um, they make hamburgers and sell ice cream. They're known for having an ice cream bar up front where you scoop the ice cream fresh. And I had my my high school hero friend i was a, a freshman and he was a senior he had worked there for a while and he had gotten me the job there and so it was kind of like a dream first job for a 16 year old you know his my the guy I idolize works there he's showing me how to the ropes on my first job i'm making money after a while that i, I left that job pretty quickly and it was a disappointment to me and i went to work doing crazy other like it's the Texas Panhandle, so I worked with cows. I helped build some houses, <laughs> you know, just random stuff. And I landed my way back in restaurants and worked at a pizza hut for a really long time. And that was where I, I, I mean, that's that's where I got the money to move out of my parents' house at 18. That's where you know that it really was a support, and it was it gave me that first chance to make myself an adult in, in a lot of ways. Um, and they were they were totally supportive of moving me up in roles as I had graduated from school and didn't have to go anymore. I could work more hours and get more responsibility. Um, I moved on to a, a K Bob's restaurant, and that's where I really learned that, you know, making sure you do a good job is more important to you than it is to anybody else. Because if you don't have the confidence to sit, stand there and cook a steak for a Texan right there in front of them, <laughs> you know, it, it, it just really, it, it takes a, it, it brought on a new level. It was almost like a performance art in a lot of ways. And it, I, I garnered a lot more confidence in who I was and being able to perform my job in front of people that expected a lot from me than compared from the Brahms job to then. Um, moving on, I ended up in Portales, and I worked for a few restaurants there. So as I moved on, uh, I realized that maybe I wanted more in life than than just moving from town to town, working at restaurant restaurant after restaurant. And uh, I, in Portales, they have ENMU, Eastern New Mexico University, which I don't know if anybody knows. It's it's, it's a pretty pretty cool place to be <laughs> and I had never really given college a thought before and the first time I was on campus I just felt at home I was like this is what I, why didn't I do this a long time ago these people are great they're all so supportive and encouraging and I, I thought college was going to be like high school or you know and, and it was totally not <laughs> they respected you for being smart and it, it just you know and if, if you could figure out how to do something a better way than them they didn't punish you for it they like taught everybody else how to do it the way you were doing it as well and it's and that's to see the world work that way changed and opened my eyes a lot. And uh, after graduating, I, I got a degree in journalism and political science. Found out that my skill set was more broad than just writing stories for newspapers. And then I could deliver a lot more. What, what I had learned in college and what I had chose to pick up for myself because I thought it would be important to learn had turned into a, a communications director or skill set and so from then on those were the jobs that I, I shot for when it, once I realized that and once I, I saw an opportunity to come back to the industry that had given me my first chance my second chances and I, what better place for me to be what better group of people for me to represent than restaurants I mean that's that's where I came from 
it was hard because I, I was smart from a young age. I, I did good in school. You know, I, I loved school. I loved to read. I loved to write. I was always in like speed reading competitions and everything like that from a young age. And then when I got to high school, it, I just kind of hit this weird wall where I had to kind of perform at the same level as everybody else or be put in with a group of people that I didn't, that didn't want me with them. <laughs> and so it was a, it was a weird ride and uh, I, I didn't exactly enjoy it. Um, there were a few teachers, the, the ISS teacher, the in-school suspension teacher, she became one of my favorite teachers. Uh, she actually, at one point, there was kind of a discussion of, you know, should should we just have him do lessons at home and bring the stuff in? And, and she was like, no, we're not going to do that. He can come to my classroom every day, all day, if he's fine with that. And it, and. I had another teacher, Miss Holland, she was my English, she was the honors English teacher and she was like, I don't, I can't believe that we're treating this kid this way and she would come to the ISS classroom and teach me English on her lunch break. So, I mean, it wasn't that I was, it was a, a, a unique position for me as an individual to be in in that town. And I, I still talk with Miss Holland to this day on social media. We, you know, anytime I, I can share some support, she, she's quite old now. <laughs> she was, she was quite old when I was in high school. So, <laughs> but to see her on social media is, you know, is, is very pleasant. I, I, I didn't have a positive high school experience. And I think because of that, it took me quite some time afterwards to go back to college. But once I got to college, I realized that it wasn't like that at all. And that it was what I had hoped high school would be, <laughs> where I could enjoy learning and get skills and make connections. And, and so while I didn't get that there, I think it put me in a position to receive it later in life better. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do, just always do it. And you don't have to, and you know, they say that just do it and give it 120. Just try it. Whatever it is, I mean, I would have never even went to college had I not taken that tour. I just took a tour of the campus and I was in the communications building and I saw, I was like, these these people get to come here all day and then after they get to learn, they get to use all this stuff and do all these. And it changed my life, just that one tour. So if, the, you know, and, and also, if, if, if you're in a place where you don't see things changing or you see that you're, you know, kind of what I said, where you're expecting you're going to get a job that you don't hate for the rest of your life, it doesn't have to be like that. It really doesn't. You just stop and decide. You don't even have to have a clear plan of what you want. You just have to know what you don't want and just start looking at other things.